that little adventure. That was nice. Well, we are in Milwaukee today chasing after the elusive brown trout ducks. And yeah, we're gonna have some fun today. We're taking a little break from the walleye fishing. I don't think I've ever done this on this channel yet. Normally when I'm down in Milwaukee, we're actually doing salmon fishing, which I will probably be down here again this summer doing some salmon fishing. But this time of the year, when it's real early spring like this, the docks aren't even in here. There's a lot of trout swimming around. And if you guys remember, I actually did an ice fishing video down in the harbors down here last year. I caught the biggest brown trout of my life through the ice. And basically, essentially, we're doing the same thing, but we're doing it open water. We're gonna troll for these fish. We're gonna actually do some casting too later. You can really find these fish all the way up and down the lake shore, but there's a lot more concentration of them down here. So we figured we'd come down, try it out, see if we can get on some fish. We've had buddies come down here the past couple of weeks and do really well. So that's what we're hoping to do today. It's not too cold, it's about 32 degrees right now. It's supposed to warm up as the day goes on. And, um, these trout are very sensitive to temperature. So as we start to get a little bit of temperature spike here, I think these fish are really gonna fire up and I think we're gonna have a really good day. So if you are into trout fishing content, go down, hit that subscribe button down below. Hopefully today is gonna be a banger. We're gonna go ahead, roll some GoPros here, get everything set up, start trolling, and hopefully hook into some fish. So stick with us, stay tuned, you won't be pissed. You got a plane taking off. This is about as urban as it gets. We're hooked up with our first fish. First fish of the morning on the inside turn. Fish wanted it slow. We actually just got in front of this gap here and the water temperature just, just dropped. It went from like 35 and a half down to almost 33. So I kind of came on the cup on the inside here, just made, made a really sharp turn to uh, kind of get along this wall. And this fish hit it on the inside. Doesn't seem like it's a tank fish, but. How do, how do you fill this up? Square bill? Yeah. Oh, he's a brown. He's staying down. Yep. Good leader. Little browner. Almost lost him. <laughs> nice little browner. Cromer. It's a good eater. Yep. There we go. First little brown of the morning. That's just a little guy. Good, good one to take home, put on the grill. But we're looking for bigger ones this morning. There are some absolute tanks down here. And uh, that's what we're searching for. But that's a good way to start the morning. Now we kind of got something maybe a little figured out as far as far as bait presentation goes. So we might be able to kind of dial in a program now and see if we can get something to work. But nice one to start with. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Tugging. buddy. He's a tugging. He's tugging, all right. Feels like a good one. <laughs> We're actually using walleye gear to catch these fish today, too. So for those of you that think you gotta come down here and have the heaviest stuff possible, or just using my walleye rods, my walleye trolling rods for this. Super simple. Peace. Yeah. Yep, 50 feet on this bad boy. What's that? That's that bolt right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a better one, Max. It's gonna follow us. Nice. Brown town baby. to yet. Go ahead. Yes! That's a good one. First good one of the day. Yes! Get the hooks out of her quick. There we go. Check that out. 
nice hen brown. That's the biggest one of the morning so far. They do get a lot bigger, but that's a good one to kind of get our feet wet with. You can tell she's actually all spawned out. Her belly there got a nice little crease, so probably just did her thing a few weeks ago here, and that's a nice fish. And just for good karma, I'm gonna send this fish back on her way here. Keep some of them smaller fish today and let these bigger ones go. There she goes. One of the biggest things too, when you're, when you're handling some of these trout in the boat, you never wanna get your fingers in their gills if you're gonna be releasing them like that. You take care of their head when they're in the boat, don't grab their gills or anything like that. Those fish will release fine. And you can get them back into the water safely. like a good one. Buried the board. Was on the phone with David. That one looked like it whacked it pretty good. Yeah. I don't think it's nothing spectacular, but it's... Bigger it's, than normal? It's gonna be something to reel in. Yeah. You might wanna reel up that one just sure. a little bit. Yeah. There's definitely weight. It, the way it hit, it had to be bigger. You know, the smaller ones, the flag just kind of rattles like this. And it's pulling line But off. the bigger ones, the flag just goes down and then it buries under the water. Yeah. All those smaller ones we got, the flag just kind of jumps like this, you know? Like when I pull up like this, yeah, it ain't letting me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's running now. Yeah? Well, I just had him to like 68. <laughs> 87. Who's that? Can't answer it right now. Hey, we got a fish on right now. We'll call you back. Right. Everybody's calling us to see how we're doing. We can't talk right now. We got fish on. He's all curious. He wants to know how the fishing's going. We got a fish on, Jeff. That's how it's going. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I fell asleep, it just started dreaming. And then all of a sudden, the alarm clock went off. For some reason, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a smart man. Yeah. Hey, I'm at 159. 159? <laughs> Holy smokes. Remember when we were at 65 and you thought it was small? Yeah, and then he saw the boat and said, nope. It's <laughs> <laughs> a pretty guy, though. Don't go that way. Right, he's hooked well, he ain't coming off. Yes. Yes. One more pull like that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right. Nice fish, dude. That's a nice fish. That is a dandy. Nice one, dude. Oh, it's a female. Oh, yeah. The that, kite. There is, it looked like there was a kipe on it. Yeah, it sure did. It's a really pretty colored up female, though. That's pretty. Check that out. That one took a while to get in, huh? Yeah. All right, getting a release on that one. Not big enough for your mount wall mounter. She goes, look at her. Holy <laughs> smokes. Hey, pal. Sweet. Nice. Well, this day is turning into quite the adventure. We've got quite a few fish in the boat already. Now I'm just kind of filming only the big fish. We've been catching small ones left and right here still too. And we're just kind of throwing those back in the water, not really filming that. We want to get those big ones. So much fun coming out here down in spring. These fish are really concentrated in these harbors. And it's a fish that's really hard to target once that water warms up and the fish kind of move out of these harbors and you get out onto the lake. They can be tough to find at times. So coming down here, taking advantage of them in spring and putting some nice browns in the boat is nothing to complain about, but another gorgeous fish. Yep, 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 yep. We are hooked up. Oh, this feels like a good one, dude. I'm gonna slow us down a touch. Freaking GoPro died. I think this is a good one. This thing took the board. This thing took the board right under the water. <laughs> oh, 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 he's pulling. There is no way it's awesome. He's pulling. I'm glad it came on a wacky because there's three hooks on this thing. They have been. Not this hard. No, this thing's pulled quite a few times now. <laughs> Starting to give up a little bit. 
maybe it's like a 32 inch walleye. Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> hey, we gotta double your middle boards going back. I'll tell you when I'm close. We're definitely gonna need a net for this one. We're doubled up. <laughs> doubled up on giant browns. <laughs> oh, we're putting them beat down, beat down, smack down, crack down on some browns today. Dude, this thing is like not wanting to come up. I'm trying to get him to come to this side, but he does not like it. I'm not, I'm trying he's to just turn his head. Really he's bad. still 20 feet out, so he's like straight down. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah, it is. Like a really, really nice one. You can see him down there. Oh man, now I'm freaking nervous. Look at him down there. <laughs> oh, I wish my GoPro didn't die. Go for it. Yeah, yes. Yes, that's a big old hen, dude. <laughs> that's a big old hen. Oh. Check that out. Big old chrome brown right there. That's a nice looking fish. Probably pushing that, uh, probably getting close to that 10 pound mark. Gorgeous fish. And like I said, the temperature, the outside temperature here really starting to fall, but Man, these fish are all fired up. Again, on that Selma Wacky, just another gorgeous fish. Nice, Mama Brown. We're gonna get her put back. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> she was all fired up. She was mad that I was even holding her for a picture. Still got a fish on there, you think? No. That middle board, we were actually doubled up for a little while, but Max said it was a smaller one, so we just kind of let it go because we knew this one was a good one, so. Mm, love it. are calling it a wrap for today we just got the boat back on the trailer picked everything up got everything put away and we're gonna head home for the day awesome day out on Lake Michigan for the first time this year we will be back probably around that June time frame uh, we got a full eerie trips coming up here a lot of walleye fishing to do in the meantime but we will be back out on Lake Michigan doing some salmon fishing very soon I am booking salmon trips for this summer so if you're interested in getting out on Lake Michigan going for Kings going for steelhead maybe even a brown trout, you never know. I'll leave a link down in the description below where you guys can book a trip. Salmon fishing out here is a ton of fun. Get up early, get that rod in your hands. I'm doing night trips too as well, just to feel the fight of these freshwater salmon. It's, it's unbelievable. I would argue it is definitely one of the hardest fighting freshwater fish that you can definitely encounter. So awesome fishery. If you guys are interested in checking it out, definitely look me up. We'll get you on some fish, have some fun. So that being said, we're gonna wrap things up here, head home. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go down hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, keep living your dream. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.